stating the obvious, perhaps, uh, but, but it is remarkable nonetheless. I mean, our, our data goes back to 1910, Carol, so over 100 years' worth of, of data, and it's, uh, it's smashed it. The previous record actually was set in 1995, uh, but just over the last day or so, we've, we've topped that one. So we're, we're already at uh, almost 500 millimetres of rain for December, January, and February, and of course we've got uh, you know, another 10 days or so of February to go. And there's plenty more rain in the forecast. A bit of a lull through this week, thankfully, uh, but there is more rain forecast for next week. Um, and it's all, of course, down to the jet stream, as we know. Uh, remarkably strong jet stream through this winter. That's what's been generating these, uh, these s s storms, a succession of storms across the Atlantic. Uh, an interesting footnote, actually, is that while you know, it's all been all about the wind and the rain across uh, most parts of the country, it's been remarkably mild. Many of us haven't seen a flake of snow. In Scotland, we've got phenomenal amounts of snowfall. So while we've had wet weather down south, too much of it, uh, colossal amounts of snow, metres of snow in the Scottish Highlands, and that presents its own problems with uh, avalanche risk. Uh, yes, and good news at least for some skiers. Mm -hmm. But uh, just coming back to this statistic, uh, we're talking about nearly 500 millimetres of rain. That is what? That is a total amount that has been, uh, that has been collated over a particular specific period. How is this measured and, and how serious is that in relation to what we would normally expect during the winter? Uh, well, it, it's an average. Uh, we have rain gauges all over the country uh, which, which add up the rain each day. Uh, winter as a whole is taken December, January and February. Uh, for some places that's well over double what you'd normally expect uh, through winter. So that's just a, a measure of, of how wet it's been. Of course some places have seen far more than that. Parts of, of Dartmoor for example uh, almost double that amount of rain. Parts of eastern Scotland perhaps haven't seen that much but uh, for most of us it's been wet hasn't it?